In this worksheet on gratitude, we'll learn how gratitude can be both a grounding and heart opening practice. And we'll explore how we can extend gratitude to every single thing in our lives for greater contentment and happiness. So before we begin, check in with how mindful you've been so far today. Have you been mindful of what's going on in your heart, the mind itself, your body? What is your breath like or what is it like right here and right now? Have you been mindful of your environment and the space around you? And then we'll check in with why it is that you chose this topic, gratitude. And as we move through the worksheet, make a commitment to notice how your body feels as we discuss gratitude. How do you feel in the belly, in the chest, in the head? And are there any emotions that you relate to these feelings? Are there emotions that you're already feeling just at the mention of gratitude? Any positive or negative stories that you're already telling yourself? And can we let those go a little bit as we go through the worksheet? Whatever you're feeling is just fine. And there's plenty others who feel the same way about this topic as you do. But we want to open to the possibility that with increased awareness, those feelings might change. And then finally, as we go through the worksheet, be thinking about how you might apply gratitude and the ideas that we'll discuss here to your everyday life. So developing gratitude is not only a grounding practice, but it opens our hearts by opening our awareness to all the good that's going on in our lives. And when we're steeped in gratitude, we connect to the reality of our current situation in a very grounding way. And part of that reality and part of why gratitude itself is grounding is because things are never as bad as they seem, right? Gratitude opens our eyes to all that is going well in the present moment. And it deepens our ability to recognize the good in all things as part of this process of developing contentment. And contentment we can think of as the highest stage of happiness. A happiness where you no longer need anything, anything to be different at all from the way it is right here and right now. Gratitude also is a foundation from which we can move in the world as kind-hearted people. And when we move in the world as kind-hearted people and we act as grateful people do, we create positive karma that in turn causes even more things to go well for us. So when we recognize what's going well, that recognition in itself causes more things to go well. True gratitude doesn't just happen in the mind, but it leads to action, right? For example, if I am grateful to have you as a friend, I'm going to treat you as I would a friend that I'm grateful for. If I'm grateful to have a roof over my head, I'm going to take care of that space because it's important to me. And if I'm grateful to have food in my fridge, for example, I'm less likely to waste that food because I'm mindful of how grateful I am for it. So we'll go through a meditation here to work on strengthening gratitude and then work through some questions below. So you can follow along. And if you're doing this meditation on your own with the worksheet, 
It might be helpful to set a timer for five or ten minutes or more. But we'll begin by sitting nice and tall, comfortably in a quiet place. Close your eyes and draw your awareness, your attention to your breath. And just notice where you are. And we'll start big. We'll begin by recognizing our good fortune and having been born into this place where we are, we live in this particular country and what good fortune that is to be right here, right now, in the country that you're in. Recognizing that this place is relatively safe and it offers so much opportunity. Out of all the places that you could be in the world right now, some of which are at war, here you are, and we can be grateful for that. And then zoom in even further to your particular region of this country. How lucky you are to be right here. Noticing all the positive qualities of the area around you. The landscape, perhaps. The climate. The infrastructure. The roads. Even cell phone towers. Everything about this region that gives you opportunity and provides you with resources. Develop a deep sense of gratitude for all of it. And then zoom in even further to your particular neighborhood. Feeling gratitude for all its fortunate qualities. A place nearby where you have access to food. A system in place that provides you with clean water. Noticing how precious and how valuable all of this is. And how lucky you are to be there. Zoom in further to the shelter in which you're sitting. Opening to this sense of gratitude because you are aware that not everyone is as fortunate to have a roof over their heads. You can notice the clothes that you're wearing or the comfort of the cushions or the chair on which you're sitting. And all the while opening up into gratitude and noticing where you feel that gratitude in the body. I'm grateful for the body itself. This human body that is breathing, it is breathing itself. This heartbeat that is beating. Grateful for all of the ways in which your body functions and all of the opportunities that that provides. Grateful for the senses, hearing, seeing, tasting, smelling, sensing.
and grateful too for the fact that you are able to be here right here right now meditating learning growing and deepening your awareness grounding yourself in gratitude and opening your heart also grateful for your inclination towards this practice and all of the factors which have brought you here, right here, right now, to this moment. Recognize how precious and special that is. And then sit with this deep, deep sense of gratitude For as long as you would like to. Feeling how gratitude arises in your body, your mind. Fully present with gratitude, gratefulness. until you are ready to slowly open your eyes. And we'll go through a few questions related to gratitude and our experience with the meditation. And at any point, feel free to hit pause if you'd like to take a little more time writing down or contemplating your answers. But we'll begin by just describing your experience with the meditation in general. And then write down three to five things that you are most grateful for. And once you have this list of these three to five things, list one action that you could take that would demonstrate your gratitude, an action. So for example, if you wrote down that you're grateful that you have a car, well, do you regularly change the oil on the car or wash the car? Do you treat the car as a grateful person would? So take your three to five things and then partner each one with an action that would demonstrate your gratitude. And then as you review this list we've just created, what do you think comes first? The feeling of gratitude or behaving as though you are grateful? Or which one feels more real? Which one comes first? And then how is it that mindfulness, mindfulness helps us develop this feeling of gratitude? No right or wrong answers for these. Just see what comes up for you. And we thought about how mindfulness helps us develop a feeling of gratitude, but how can mindfulness help us act gratefully? And then when we say that a grateful attitude is grounding, why do you think that might be the case? Or does gratitude feel grounding for you? And how so? And then how do you think that gratitude might be related to compassion or empathy? This ability to see and understand the pain of others. And do you think that people who are grateful are also more kind?
And then as you were coming up with your own list, how challenging was it to find three to five things that you're grateful for? Do you think that everyone in the entire world has at least three to five things that they could be grateful for too? And if so, is everyone equally capable of noticing these things? And as we kind of work towards this idea that some areas, um, in some ways, it might be a little more challenging to notice gratitude, do you think that it's possible to be equally grateful for both the things we label as negative and the things we label as positive? And then at, towards the end of our meditation, we reflected upon how precious and rare our interest in mindfulness and meditation and these activities and growth, how precious and rare it is. So what was it like when you reflected upon that rarity of your interest in mindfulness? And do you think that your interest in learning and growing is unique? And perhaps whether or not it's unique, it's something that you can learn to be deeply grateful for. And if we were grateful for our inclination in doing things like this worksheet right here, what actions would we take to demonstrate our gratitude for this interest, this interest in expanding our awareness and our mindfulness. And then we'll review. So studies actually demonstrate that grateful people take very little for granted. They report greater happiness and satisfaction with their lives, and they are more likely to be kind to others. We know that happy people are more likely to want to share their happiness just naturally, and happy people are more likely to be kind. Hurt people hurt people, right? Happy people don't hurt people. So by developing the quality of gratitude, we're able to see that everything in this world is a gift. Everything in this world is a gift. We take very little for granted. And when we can see that, it's possible that even events which we once would have deemed as negative become transformed into learning experiences for which we are grateful. Right? So our gratitude becomes this amazing tool by which we can transform all the experiences of our lives. So as we begin to work with gratitude, at the very beginning stages, we take note of what we have. And yet as our practice grows and as our capacity for gratitude develops, and in turn as our happiness and our satisfaction with life increases, we again become naturally inclined to share this happiness with others. And then at that point, gratitude and their gratitude practice becomes less about what we have and more about noticing what we have to give and becoming grateful for our ability to give and all of the ways in which we can positively contribute to the world. And when we're positively contributing to the world, the world responds in kind. And in turn, we see that we have more and more things to be grateful for, and our gratitude grows. And as gratitude grows, so too does happiness and contentment, and it builds and builds and goes on and on. <laughs>